ATAS International would like to give you an up-close and personal look at ScanRoof, the very best roofing panel system in the world. ATAS has been designing and manufacturing residential and commercial roofing panels since 1963. ATAS roofing products are found in different roofing structures, from Air Force bases in Alaska to health centers in Florida, and from postal facilities in California to homes in Maine. Our products are also found on churches in Canada and on hotels on St. Martin and Costa Rica. ATAS is continuously expanding their services and products in the U.S. and abroad. ScanRoof by ATAS is the most innovative metal roof on the market today. It is a modern, lightweight, easy to install panel that simulates a European tile roof. This roofing system provides a complete weather shield and also adds structural strength to your roof. ScanRoof by ATAS is the perfect solution for a roof requiring the style of tile without the cost or weight. We begin by installing water and ice shields along our eave areas and over our valley areas. This is our insurance against leaking caused by ice buildup along the eave line. After the water and ice shields, we will install a layer of 30 pound saturated asphalt felt as a moisture and vapor retarder. The felt is installed horizontally from the bottom of the roof toward the top, overlapping the bottom layer with the next layer. Next we will install 2x4s along the eave areas and in the valley. This is to maintain the same plane of the roof panels. The plane is determined by the built-in Z purlin of the scan roof panel. The 2x4s have been cut short of the gable ends of the roof to allow for the installation of our gable C. The ATAS gable C is a channel that caps the end of the panels and also acts as a water channel that can collect the runoff water from the panel and take it to the eave location where it can run out and off the roof. Next we prepare the eave trim or drip edge as it is sometimes called. We start by cutting a one inch notch into one end of the trim to allow that one inch to be folded over the inside corner. This is done to close up any holes in either the inside or the outside corners and prevent any water from leaking behind the trim. A common hand bender is used to accomplish this. A 45 degree piece is then cut off the next trim piece to accommodate the connection at the hip area. The trim is then fastened down using a galvanized pancake head type screw because of its flat profile. An overlap of 3 inches is recommended, or an internal splice could be used if you prefer. Next we will prepare the valley for installation. We will lay out the angle of the valley and cut the piece. But we will make the high part of the valley, the diverger, 1 inch longer than the rest to allow it to be folded over to close up the end of the valley. This high part of the valley acts as a built-in water diverter, which stops the water that runs off the one side of the roof from running up the other side. This is especially important when different pitches or lengths of run exist. The screw used to fasten the valley have an EPDM washer that seals around the screw and the hole that it makes in the roof. The valley is now fastened down by these screws keeping them toward the outer edge of the valley. The panels install in a horizontal direction from the eave to the ridge with a right end overlap of one tile. The panel length is approximately 13 feet 10 inches long and about 21 inches wide. This provides a roof coverage of 18.1 square feet per panel. It is very important to get your first row of panels installed as straight as possible. This can be done with the use of a dry line laid out to the top of the Z purlin to ensure that the panels are running in line with one another. The first panel lays over the eave trim. A neoprene closure can be used along the bottom edge but is not mandatory. The neoprene must be laid out so that the profile is aligned with the panel profile and is held in place with a clear caulk. The panel is fastened down to the eave using a two inch long self-drilling type screw with a painted hex drive head and an EPDM and steel washer. Normally these screws are installed in every other tile, but some extreme weather conditions may require a screw in every tile. As you continue up the roof, the overlap should be staggered a minimum of three tiles. After the bottom screw is installed, the Z-Perlin is fastened into the substrate or truss assemblies using a one and one half inch zinc coated screw every 24 inches. The angle for the hip is now being found using a long bevel. The angle is then transferred to the panel in preparation for our hip cut. To make this cut, we will be using a tool called a nibbler which is a punch and die method of cutting and actually punches out small half moon pieces of metal. 
This tool is fast and it also enables you to make cuts on intricate profiles such as the scan roof. Proper cutting tools are very important when using a galvanized steel or galvalume coated steel product. Any type of saw or cutting tool that creates heat when it is used cannot be used because of the damage it will cause to the coatings and paint finishes. The first panel is now ready to be installed. When roof conditions are too steep to walk on safely, a roof jack system can be supplied. These jacks hook over the purlin of the panel and allow planks to be used on the roof to aid in the installation. When working into a valley, we need to determine at what location to end our panels. Under normal conditions, we will snap a line four inches from the center of the valley toward the outer edge of the valley. In some cases, this could increase up to six inches depending on the length of the valley and the pitch of the roof. After determining the length of the panel, the piece will be cut to the proper size and angle. In this case, we need to make an additional cut at the Z purlin to allow the panels to sit on the substrate because we have raised the valley flashing up to the back of the panel. This panel is now ready to install. The first screws we will install will be the edge screws into the eave trim. Then we will install the screws into the Z purlin. To continue the installation, blocks of wood can be used for spacer blocks. The maximum exposure for scan roof is 16 and 1 half inches, so these blocks were cut at 16 and 3 eighths inches. Minimum exposure is 12 inches. Exposure is set at anywhere in between to accommodate different lengths of run, but should be kept consistent to maintain a straight diagonal line in the panels. The stitch screws have been left out when roof jacks are used until after the jacks are no longer needed. The jacks are then removed and the stitching process is completed. The screws are self-drilling zinc coated with a matching painted hex head. These are 7 eighths inches and are installed at the lower part of the panel and are used to fasten one panel to another. They are normally installed in every other tile in an alternating pattern as you continue up the roof. In an area where extreme wind conditions exist, it is recommended that the stitch screws be installed in every tile. These screws are installed before the purlin screws to ensure proper nesting of the panels. A 6 inch wide self-adhesive EPDM material is utilized to ensure proper weatherproofing of the hip areas. This product is installed in approximately 3 foot pieces to make installation easier. It is installed from the bottom toward the top to allow for proper overlap. Care is taken to ensure that the tape is sealed against the panel at every part of the profile. After the taping is completed, a matching metal barrel type ridge and hip is installed. An end cap is manufactured to close in all ends of the caps. These end caps can either be pop riveted or stitch screwed in place. The hip caps are fastened in place with the use of stitch screws installed through the edge of the caps and into the high portions of the profile. As is typical with roofing products, the cap installation will start at the bottom of the hip and continue up the hip overlapping the preceding or lower piece. The rest of the ridge will now be laid out and cut and made ready for installation. When installing these ridge caps, the screws will be installed on the high part of the profile. This particular installation is a non-venting application. If a ridge vent is required, a solid type ventilating product can be installed first and then the barrel cap is installed over the top of the vent. If the distance of the top of the ridge does not allow for a full panel to be installed, the panel can be cut down to the proper width that is needed, with the top section of the panel being utilized to maintain the proper plane of the panel. ATAS International is the leading manufacturer of architectural, residential, commercial and siding projects. We have operated the family business for over 30 years and we have a reputation for fast, responsible customer service. ATAS has over 30 customer service representatives to answer your questions and concerns. Our ATAS production team can now reach precise production levels never before achieved in the metal industry. Our expert craftsmen offer special, custom-designed shapes should your project need them. ATAS also has an experienced drafting and technical staff to assist you with the design, prints, and development of your project. Other special services offered are shop drawings, computer estimating, technical assistance, and custom formed trims. Our fulfillment department is ready to assist you with prompt order processing, 
saving both time and expense for you, our valued customer. The ATAS belief in quality craftsmanship and prompt service has allowed us to expand, and we promise to serve you with unequaled product quality, courteous service, and fast order processing. We're here to help you provide your customers with the best metal roofing products anywhere in the world.